In this tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how to send open telemetry traces into Dynatrace without the one agent. So there are two demos today. The first one is how to generate and send a, any generic span to the Dynatrace platform. And the second is how to trace a shell script and send that data to the Dynatrace platform. So first up, we're going to need some place to store this data, to analyze this data and to view this data. That, of course, will be Dynatrace. The next thing we need is a source of spans. Now, in a web world, that would be your, your browser, your web server, your application servers, and your microservices, the source of this, where the spans are actually coming from. However, OpenTelemetry is unopinionated about this, and you can trace pretty much anything. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to trace a shell script, for example. So to tie those two things together, the source and the destination, we need a component in the middle called the open telemetry collector. The source will send its spans to the collector and the collector will forward those spans to Dynatrace in the backend. So open the demo scenario and it will install some stuff and wait until it says installation complete. Please proceed now. What you'll need is a Dynatrace API token with open telemetry trace ingest permission. So go ahead and generate yourself an API token. So when you have your access token, make a note of the Dynatrace environment URL as well. So you'll need those two pieces of information. When you have those two pieces of information, go ahead and click start. The first thing you want to do is go to the editor and edit the config.yaml file. Now this is the configuration file for the collector. So I need to paste in my API token here and I need to modify this to use my tenant URL. So you leave the API v2 OTLP. It should look like that. So now that you've configured the collector, go ahead and run the collector in tab number one and click next. Open a new tab. So on tab number two, we are now going to generate our first span. So this is a standalone span that will be generated by this Docker image, push to the collector, and then the collector will forward that to your Dynatrace environment. So in tab two, click this command. If it works, you should see response 200, which proves the span was generated and made its way to the collector. So in your Dynatrace environment, go into the distributed traces screen. You may need to wait a moment or so and actually refresh this page. But after a while, you should see a single span here called span one, and the service should be called killer coder. Clicking into the span shows that there is a single span as we expected, and the response time was five seconds. Spans are able to get from our demo environment to the open telemetry collector and then to our Dynatrace environment. When you've got that far, click next again, and we'll take this a step further and actually make this useful. So we will trace a shell script. Again, in tab two, click this command here. This will print out the shell script to show you what's going on, and then it will start to execute the shell script. Again, you should see some output that says response 200, and they are all of the, the spans and subspans being sent to the collector. And at the end, you should see script.sh completed successfully. So back in Dynatrace on the distributed traces screen, I've waited a little while and toggled the time selector just to refresh the page. And I can now see I've got a new trace called script.sh with a four second response time. And this time the service is called service one. Clicking into here, we can actually see what happened inside our shell script. So script.sh is the first outer main span. And then each of these subspan IDs are what happened inside the shell script. So if we look at the shell script to see why we got this multi-span trace, you can see the shell script is actually sat in a loop. And inside that loop, we are pushing spans to describe what happens inside the loop. So they are the three little uh, child spans. And then at the very end, we're pushing the main script.sh span which is the parent span, which ties everything together. And hence Dynatrace can then visualize it like this. So I hope that goes to show that you can use open telemetry to trace just about anything, not just your web and application servers and whatever it is that you trace, you can send those spans directly into Dynatrace to leverage the power of the Dynatrace platform. All of the links are in the video description below including the link to the tutorial that I used. If you need a Dynatrace trial, 
it's at dynatrace.com forward slash trial. And don't forget about the Dynatrace community, community.dynatrace.com. There are lots of your peers on the community ready and willing to help and assist with any of your Dynatrace questions. Thank you very much again for watching. See you next time.